doing a called uh, That's the Way I Feel Today. It was uh, Fats Waller and Don Redman, Benny Carter.
feel today or on another recording that's how I feel today we don't know what the time how we feel today and we will play a very well-known number which is usually called kind of tear us tempo and we play it kind of tear us is that a German word is it yes. <laughs> Hochdeutsch is it tear us what does that mean <laughs> God's sake, well, man. Well, it, it means... Oh, I still have to say... The Queen's English, please. Anyway, anyways, lose my naughty sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
will be good. <laughs> James B. Johnson. Now I'm so blue, I don't know what to do. All day through, I seem to say to you, I was wrong when I let you go away. Now I think about you night and day. I'm so unhappy and so dissatisfied. I'd be happy if I knew you were my bride. If I could be with you, I'd love you strong. If I could be with you, all I'd love, I want you to know that you couldn't go until I told you, honey, how I love you so. And if I could be with you one hour tonight and do the things that I'm mine, I'm telling you true. I'll be anything but blue If I could be with you For just one hour If I could be with you which came to us by one of the young chicks that um, keep hanging around as musicians. This time, um, <laughs> this time it came from Nick Ward's mother. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we hope she like our version of Maori. 
played by Duke Ellington better than the twins. <laughs> actually, the, we, Maori was uh, an old ragtime piece, actually. Uh, just a little bit of it. I'll talk about the historical side, oh. and then Norman no, will then talk yeah, about knowledge and all, the, all the recordings of it. <laughs> um, it was written by the chap who wrote Panama. You know Panama? Right, so. And uh, it's, it, it was one of these pieces that was not exactly a tango. It was what General Morton called a Spanish tinge piece. And all I can say is that Hoagie Carmichael's mum used to play it. <laughs> and you couldn't go to a party at the Hoagie Carmichael house without having to play Maori. So that, that's its claim to fame. All right? Okay. Here we go. Yes. Your, your mum plays it as well. <laughs>
we have two more tunes, the first of which will be Norman's feature. I don't know which instrument you'll play. I'm not sure, but it will be Oh Baby, and um, you'll know who's got to play in which role. In the That's right, yes. The, um, Eddie Condon and all the Chicago guys, they lived in Chicago, of course, and they wanted to move to New York, so there was more money there, or at least they thought there was. But when they moved there in about 1928, they found that New York didn't really want all this sort of low-down, sort of syncopated jazz stuff that the Chicagoans were playing. And they all ended up living in one room somewhere, you know. And, uh, but they had made some records for OK in Chicago, and they went to the OK company in New York saying, look, we can make records just like Jimmy Noon is making for Vaucone and Brunswick, and they'll sell like hot cakes. And so they got this session for $100, which bailed them out. But OK never issued it, and they put it on the shelf and wrote it off the experience. And one of the numbers that Eddie Condon did with um, <coughs> On banjo, Eddie Condon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> on piano, Joe Sullivan. And on uh, drums, the, the young Gene Krupa. <laughs> and uh, by the side of the uh, problem they've got in playing all those people, my problem in sounding like Frank Teshmaker is relatively minor. <laughs> and here's one of the tunes they did, it's called Oh Baby. <laughs>
play our last tune and after um, Norman played Oh Baby, very close to the version on the OK label, we'll play another tune played by the McKinney's Professor's Code called OK Baby. <laughs>
52 more payments And it's young still I'm dim bow, dim bow He's got dim, 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 dim Closing number to end all closing numbers, Thomas Spatz. <laughs> I must just say, isn't it marvellous listening to these fine times? Yeah. Yeah.
Nick Nichols. Nick Nichols.